Hi, I'm John Gorkowski, and you're watching No Enemies Here Wargaming News. Grant of the Player's Aid unboxes D-Day at Iwo Jima, a John Butterfield game published by Decision Games. He also interviews David Heath of Lock and Load Publishing. Alexander interviews Mark Walker of Flying Pig Games at Origins on his new, soon-to-be-released Platoon Commander Deluxe the Battle of Kursk. This is a World War II platoon level combat game designed by David K. Van Hoos. Alexander's unboxing Skies Above the Reich. This is a Jerry White and Mark Asted game published by GMT. Alexander is also unboxing Gallipoli 1915, Churchill's Greatest Gamble, a game designed by Jeffrey Phipps, published by GMT. The artist is Roger B. McGowan. What's happening on the big board? I'll tell you what's happening on the big board. He's got a video out called Ranty Bits, where he's basically smartening up some guy who had given him, I guess, grief? I wouldn't want to mess with Kevin. But I've solicited Kevin for my four questions segment and that should be up soon counterproductive games is checking out battleship bismarck a game designed by wojciech zaleski published by tactikia e strategia bare bones wargaming has a couple of videos out on decision games magazine world at war number 30 hinge of fate a game designed by Ty Bamba, the artists Larry Hoffman and Joe Yost. Tim is also checking out Poland 39 The Nightmare Begins, a game designed by Ty Bamba and published by Kokusai Tsushinsha Company of Japan. Bare Bones Wargame? Well, he's just kicking high. With a third video this week, Carrier, the Southwest Pacific Campaign 1942-1943. A game designed by John Southard, the artist is Ned Schatzer, and it's published by Victory Games. Tim does the opening phase of the opening turn of this classic game. Talismar, the lonesome gamer, babbles about empires of the Middle Ages. This is a game designed by Anthony F. Buccini, Jim Dunnigan, and Redmond A. Simonson. The artists are Morgan Crusader Bible, Morgan Crusader Bible, and Redmond A. Simonson and Joe Yost. Published by Decision Games, also by Hobby Japan and SBI. Morgan Crusader Bible, well, hey, a name defines a person and Look, my name's a name, right? And I'm, I once met this person, and her last name was um, Di Gesù. And her first name was Croce. And it, that translates into Cross of Jesus. That was her name. The Chief of Bonding with Board Games is previewing and unboxing a Quartermaster General, The Cold War by Plastic Soldier Company. That Gimpy Gamer's got a couple of more videos on his magnum opus, Lock and Load's Tactical Core Rules, Rule Set 5.0. Rule clarifications on 
fixed-wing aircraft attacks, anti-aircraft ordinances, and helicopters flying and hovering. Gimpy's gal guesses Atlantic Wall, D-Day to Falaise. This is a game designed by Joe Yost. The artist is Joe Yost and it's published by Decision Games. Gimpy's gal is also guessing Phantom Fury. Game designed by Laurent Clausier. The artist is Thomas Puchin or Pouchin, sorry Thomas. And the publisher is Nuts Publishing. Hey Gimpy, when you're done with that game, send it to me, huh? Hey everybody, welcome back. The original Grognard is finishing off. Advance on Chozul, an ambush scenario part six. This is a game designed by Eric Lee Smith and John Butterfield. That went on to win the Charles S. Robert Award in 1983. Ardwolf of Ardwolf's Lair is giving you his wrap-up and review of the Origins Game Fair 2018. Charlotte Area Historical Gaming and Charles Cab. Hey guys, this is Charles with Historical Gaming and you're watching No Enemies Here and giving the most recent Wargaming news. Take care. Are continuing their playthrough of Maurice, War in an Age of Gentlemen and Philosophers, 1690 to 1790, a game designed by Sam A. Mustafa. Sergeant Joe Clifford Faust is doing an unboxing of Memoir 44's Through Jungle and Desert, a game by Richard Borg. Jonathan Townsend is continuing The Korean War, a game published by Victory Games, designed by Joseph M. Balkowski. The artists are Rosaria Baldari, Ted Kohler, and James Talbot. Napoleon's Triumph has a video out on Pericles, the Peloponnesian Wars, a game designed by Mark Herman, the artists. Francisco Colmenaris, David Doctor, Newt Grunitz, Roger B. McGowan, and Mark Semenich. Compass Games, Brotherhood and Unity, War in Bosnia and Herzegovina, 1992-1995. The designer is, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Tomislav Chipchic. The artist is Tomislav. Chipchich, and the box cover design is by Ilya Kudryashov. Complexity is 5 out of 10. Solitaire suitability is 5 out of 10. The time scale is 1 year per turn, 2 months per action round. The map scale, point to point, strategic level. The unit scale are brigades. Number of players, 2 to 3. Average time to play, 2 to 3 hours. The components, one 22 by 34 inch mounted map, 260 9 16th of an inch counters, 96 strategic cards in three decks, Serbian, Croatian, and Bosniak, three player eight cards, one rule book, one 10 sided die, and the famous box in the lid. Nuts Publishing, French publisher of board games and war games. They have in their in the pipeline Pacific War, 2nd Edition, a game by Mark Herman. I have absolutely no information on this game other than I think this was uh, a game, the first edition was Pacific War, the struggle against Japan, 1941 to 1945, designed by Mark Herman, published by Victory Games. So I'm assuming the second edition is Pacific War, of that game. GMT Stalingrad 42, a game designed by Mark Semenich. Stalingrad 42 is a divisional level game on the Axis 1942 offensive towards Stalingrad and the Caucasus. The map scale 1 hex equals 10 miles. The time scale 1 turn equals 5 to 7 days. The number of players 2 to 4, and the unit scale is divisions, brigades, and regiments. What we get with this game is three full-size maps, three counter sheets of 9 16th of an inch each, two scenario cards, 
two play raid cards, one rule booklet. You know, there's some information that's not present on the websites, some websites, whatever. I mean, I can't, it's not easily found, and that's the, the, the developer. Like, the guy that develops the game, you know what a developer does? He basically helps the designer. He tells him, hey, you can't do this, or this could be better. And hey, you made a mistake in your rule book. And hey, and hey, and hey. You know what I'm saying? You know, the developer, he's the coach. Like, what would the Montreal Canadiens do without our coach? Well, I mean, they'd probably do a hell of a lot better without our coach, but you know what I'm saying. You know, the developers, they're the unsung heroes. They're the guys behind the scenes. It's... It's important. Under the Southern Cross, the South American Republics in the age of the fighting sail. Under the Southern Cross is the fourth volume of the Flying Color series of games on naval combat. The focus is on the southern part of South American continent. Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Chile, Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador. From the wars of independence starting in 1810 through the last naval war fought completely under sail between Argentina and Uruguay in 1841. What you get with this game is one rule book, one playbook, one play raid chart, a deck of 55 action cards, two 22 by 34 inch maps, two counter sheets, and two 10-sided die. The game design is by Mike Nagel and Stephen Paul. Crusader, North Africa, 1941, fast action battle number four. What you get with Crusader, North Africa, 64 wooden blocks, one sheet of die cut labeled for the blocks, one sheet of 228 die cut 9 sixths of an inch counters, one combined rulebook of series rules and exclusive rules. One Crusader playbook. One 22 by 34 inch map sheet. Two play rate cards. Two setup cards. And four 10 sided die. This game is designed by Michael Gustafsson. Legion War Games. Your chance to change history. B26. The Marauder Strikes. European Theater of Operation. July 1943 to May 1945. B-26 The Marauder Strikes is a solitary game set on board a Martin B-26 Marauder medium bomber during World War II in the European Theater of Operations from July 1943 until the end of the war in May 1945. The mechanics of this game is familiar with B-17 Queen of the Skies or B-29 Super Fortress, Bombers over Japan. What comes with this game is a map of 17 by 22 inches, 278.6 inch counters, a 64 page rulebook, 42 pages of charts, and player raids. Unit size is one plane, the time scale is one mission. This is a solitaire game of medium to high complexity, and have a good time. The game is designed by Magnus Kimura. Decisive Victory 1918, The Second Battle of the Marne by Tim Gale. This was a significant battle as the French army used a large scale attack with tanks supported by artillery. The game scale, allied infantry units are divisions and allied tank units are roughly battalion sized. German infantry units are regiments and divisions. Artillery and air units vary in size. Ground scale is one kilometer per hex. Time scale is 12 hours per game. What comes with this game is three maps of 22 by 34 inch each, 528 easy punch 0.6 inch counters, 16 page rule book, Three charts, the complexity is 4 out of 10, solitaire suitability is 7 out of 10, and have a good time. Mauro Faina is completing his Let's Play Combat Commander, part 4 of 4, game designed by Chad Jensen, published by GMT. You know, I really like the art of 
Combat Commander by Roger B. McGowan is very 1990s, retro 1970s. That means taken from the 1970s stylish, but remodeled into a 1990s Roger B. McGowan artwork. I'll be doing a spot on Roger B. McGowan's artwork soon. Jeff McAleer of The Gaming Gang is checking out a first look at Hannibal and Hamilcar on The Daily Dope. This is a game designed by Mark Simonich and Jaro Andruskevich and is published by Phalanx. Enrico Viglino of Callendale fame is doing an intro to Cataclysm, a second world war, a game designed by William Terdoslavich and Scott Muldoon, published by GMT. <laughs> 